Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl High Priestess Mar. Back with more tea, back with another read. And we're going to go in with a general sexual reading. It's been a while, guys, since I did a sexual reading. So let's go in and see what's the energy, okay? The girls are around, so I, I definitely had to, you know, have them go in a room somewhere while I'm getting ready and sit in. But I was hearing sexual. Healing. Well, somebody got some sexual healing. Ooh. I burned my thumb. Ouch. My candle. <laughs> Hold on, family. Okay. Uh, you know what? I, it's going to have to, um, okay, because I blew it out. So we're going to just go in with some stage because I ain't going to mess with it. It's gonna take up too much time. The wax gonna have to heal so I can turn it to the side and light it. But let's go in with a prayer, okay? And let's get started. Higher power, I'm smelling hot dogs. Y'all know what I'm getting? Oh, for don't be a menace, but she was like, uh uh. That's the baby's lunch. We was playing with them hot dogs. Somebody gonna be getting into food. Whipped cream, strawberries, chocolate, syrup. Okay, y'all, some little treats. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm definitely, I'm smelling a hot dog, but then I'm, I'm hearing like, and she's like, uh-uh, that's the baby's lunch. And somebody could definitely have kids. Okay. I'm hearing kids going away for the weekend. Okay, adult time, little nasty and nasty. But let's go in with the energy. Uh, I mean, go in with our prayer. Higher power, our angels, ancestors, God, and God, says of the divine white light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light, showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Let's stay 
together, okay? Let's work this out. Let's come to some type of agreement here. They could definitely be wanting to say this to you, okay? Man, somebody want to eat your yoni body, okay? If you're the divine masculine here, you definitely want to eat this feminine yoni body. You want to eat her out until she scream, okay? Until she can't take it no more, until she's pushing your forehead away, okay? You, you want to eat her until... You want her to come quick. It's something about coming quick. This, I feel like this master wants you, if you're the divine feminine, this master wants you to come multiple times. And I'm also hearing come on the dick. They want you to come on the dick too, but when they bring air, it's like a challenge almost. This person's going to ask you how many times did you come. But they want you to come quick though. Yeah. Somebody masked me to have a pop belly, okay? Somebody masked me to have a little pop belly. They could like wear hats, okay? They could even have a beard or they can have chest tattoos or they can have hair on their chest. But this is giving me like, somebody want to hang off the bed and give it to you. Like halfway off the bed a little bit, okay? They want to caress you. They want your legs to be as open as possible. So this, this person going to pry your legs open, okay? Somebody really loves missionary sex. They want to live deep into your eyes, okay? They want to get lost in it, okay? I also feel like this man, he's, he, he know what he's doing. He's good at what he does, okay? You're the divine masculine. You good at what you're doing. You know you are, okay? There definitely is some type of ending here, something being put to an ending. I feel like this is that lustful energy being put to an ending here. Okay, so anything that was lustful, anything that was penetrating the, like, and what I mean by lustful is like, when you are with your divine counterpart, your soulmate, sex is never supposed to be something bad. People make it bad, okay, with their energy. But what I'm getting though, it's like anything like bad sexual energy, that's being, that's being put to an end here. Okay, all this, this is sexual love making here. Yeah, very passionate. Again, with the young me. Somebody really likes eating the yoni, okay? They're going to be trying to eat your yoni while you cooking, okay? I don't know. Somebody could be like a server or a waiter here, or they want to wait on you hand and foot, okay? They want you to sit sit in the bed. Like, they're going to tire you out, and then they're going to get out the bed, and they're going to go make you some tea or something. Or you could be asking this master, like, you know. And I was getting that in that reading, too, um, the fire sign. If you get it with a fire sign, okay, because... I was getting like making a sandwich or something like that. Um, or was that Earth? It was one of those Earth, our fire signs. But I feel like somebody you're you're gonna go make somebody something to cook afterwards, and like they're gonna be all over you in the kitchen. They're gonna be trying to bend you over, okay? Something about fingering too. Somebody wanna play. Ooh, they that. Somebody wanna play with the yummy while you cook, okay? I'm forgetting that I gotta yell because the mic is broke, but the kids, um, I don't want them to hear too much, but somebody wanna, they wanna play with your yummy body while you cook the food, okay? So this energy of like, they want you to wear like a nightgown, something sexy. This person definitely loves lingerie, like sexy lingerie, like um, silk, okay? So silk nightgown or something like that, they wanna, they want to play with it. They want to rub all on it while you cooking the food, while you cooking the dinner. This could be before sex or this could be after sex, okay? But they definitely want to make you all nice and creamy and wet. Wow. I'm here and pour me up a drink. I need a shot. <laughs> Somebody, so some of you guys, you guys like to drink. You're going to have a couple shots, okay? They're going to have some shots.
your shirt playing with your nipples. <laughs> this person's gonna be doing a lot of stuff, man, because they they like the thrill of it. Um, this could even be like going out to eat. Okay, if you go out to eat with this person, they want you to wear a dress because they want to be able to touch you. Okay, feel up on you underneath the table. Okay, I'm also here in restrooms. So you guys might sneak off and go in the bathroom, sneak off and go in the restroom and, and, and do a little, little, little nasty stuff, some nasty stuff. Yeah, I feel like this, this person really does think your yoni is very pretty, okay? And if, if, if you're the feminine here, you find this masculine, you find your wand can be so strong and big. Okay, somebody has veins. They look at it and it's like they just want to sit on it automatically. <laughs> they get so turned on by your wand, okay? And this master gets so turned on about your yoni. Like, they don't want to look at it. They might even take pictures of it. Like, in the middle of sex, they just might be snapping pictures of it because it's like so pretty. It's like a little flower. I'm here, a flower pop. Yeah, they want to open up. It's something about the pearl, okay? They want to open you up and find the pearl. Again, with be, being out in public, though, this person doesn't care. This person doesn't care where they are. They, they, they want to be able to see it. They want to be able to feel it, touch it. And for some of y'all, they love the smell of your yoni. Like, if you're um, a feminine where, I don't, I don't know, like, um, you probably are not, used to a masculine being so close or up under you, this person gonna be like under your skirt, okay? Like y'all laying and watching TV, they wanna lay on the yoni, okay? They gonna be smelling you, okay? Cause they're addicted to your smell, your fragrance, okay? They love your juice box. They love the way it smells. They love the way it feels. I'm hearing like gushy and soft. They gonna be playing, y'all they gonna be playing with it like, they gonna be feeling on it and playing with it and yeah, you might have to get used to this, like <laughs> cause they're gonna be trying to take a peek at it everywhere. Like, you know, if this person's in the mood, they gonna be trying to peek at it. No matter where they at, they gonna be like, come on, let's go to the bathroom. Let me look, let me take a look. Now, if you're the masculine here, this feminine, when y'all lay down and watch TV, she gonna have her hands down your pants, okay? She gotta have her hands down your pants. She she might not even be trying to get you aroused, but it's something about the curvature, okay? Like you know how when a masculine he had his, you know, you know you guys put your thing to the left or to the right, you know. However y'all put it in your pants, it's something about the curvature when it get a little hard, okay? She wants to grip it, squeeze it, massage it, play with the tip a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, sexy, sexy. Ooh, look, I can't never make it up, okay? I don't want YouTube to get on me, but, I mean, they're not showing nothing. They're not naked, so. But y'all see her looking at him while he eating, and that's after the meal she done made. She gonna be looking at him like, yeah, because it's something about, I don't know, you guys could really love to cook together. Okay, or this something that you guys are gonna be doing, especially with me saying experimenting with food and that's coming out in the beginning here. Um, you guys are gonna experiment to do some stuff with food, okay? Um, I just like I said, are just cooking together. It's gonna really this masculine really loves to watch his feminine cook. He gets so aroused. Okay. I feel like any feminine thing that she does will get him aroused. So Divine Feminine, if you came in there and you was cooking, and this masculine, they're going to be watching you, okay? But they're going to be so aroused. So it's like if you're cleaning, they're going to be aroused. If you're cooking, tending to the kids, they're going to be aroused because it's the femininity that they love. The feminine trait that they that gets them rock hard. Like, they just love the mothering nature of you, okay? And I just feel like, you know, this feminine here, she loves the things about her masculine. She loves, um, she loves when her masculine grips her ass, okay? She loves when you touch on her booty, okay? I'm hearing that song with Jeanette Eiko, 
and um, Janae Aiko and Moneybag Yo, um, it's gonna be one of them nights. And she's like, I love it. She said, um, I love it when you treat my booty like I got a big old booty, okay? So you can have a little booty and you can be slim, but they gonna be gripping that motherfucker. They gonna have it in both hands, okay? They ain't gonna be able to let go, okay? They gonna be smacking on your booty all the time. Like you gonna be out, they gonna be out in public. Smacking on your booty. <laughs> okay? You gonna be at family events and stuff. They gonna be smacking on your booty. And don't let this person have some drinks. Okay? Don't be out nowhere and have some drinks. This person gonna get, whether my feminine or divine masculine, you might see your person get a little turned up. Even if you at a family event, they might start smacking on your booty, start feeling on you. I'm seeing a feminine go and just sit on her masculine's lap. Okay? You know, just one of the... You know, because you, you, you at a family event, but you feel a little frisky. So you feel a little like, yeah, you know, you feeling yourself. So you want to go sit on your masculine's lap or, or you going to be looking at your feminine like, yeah, I can't wait till we get home. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, wow. Look. Yes. Okay. I feel like this feminine really loves her nipples to be sucked. Okay. Really loves her nipples to be sucked. For some of you feminists, it could be something with, with a boob job. I don't know if it was boob reduction or like getting your boobs done. Maybe you want to lift it up or this could be actual implants. But it's the sensitivity in the nipples. Like that's just a side note. But it's the sen sensitivity in the nipples here. You really love for your nipples to be played with or sucked on. Or this masculine really loves your nipples. Like... Really love, I'm, I'm getting like, they're going to suck on them motherfuckers more than the baby do, okay? With the baby milk, they're going to, they love, they might just suck on your nipples for no reason. It's some, they got a nipple fetish. Somebody masculine has a nipple fetish or like a breast fetish. Like, they like them perky. They want perky nipples or you, you want perky nipples or it's something, your nipples could be really perky. Okay, they look, they could sit like if you were somewhere and like they could be able to see your nipples through your shirt, it's gonna turn them on. Okay, it's gonna turn them on. They like the perkiness. Okay, yeah, they want to finger you while they do this too. They want to, uh, for some of you guys, you want to be playing with toys because I heard a massager, so they gonna have a massager while they playing with the nipples. And like I said, this might not even be to just. It's something about when you get turned on. Y'all don't even have to have sex. It's something about the arousement here. It's like when, when you get aroused, it really turns this person on. Like, they just going to be doing shit to just get you turned on. Like, sucking your nipples. You could be in the middle of watching TV. They're going to be trying to suck on your nipples. Or y'all could be watching a the movie. They want to suck on, you know what I'm saying? Or they want to play with your yoni. Like... Y'all, oh my word. Some of y'all, if y'all got kids, it's even when, okay, it might sound a little crazy, but it's even when you watching the TV show with the kids, because y'all sit down as a family, it's going to turn them on. And so, they going to want to get a blanket. Y'all get under the blanket, they going to be trying to play with your, they going to be trying to play with your nipples, or they going to be trying to play with your yoni under that cover, okay? Where the kids can't see. And it's something about you having to hold it together, you know, because the kids right there. Um, or like I said, if this is like some type of family event, now for some of you guys, this is just at the movies. It, it, they could take you out to the movies and be all nasty and freaky, tell you to bring the cover in the movie theater, okay? And you can't do that. They don't check you at the. They don't check you at the door. At the door, you can bring you a big bag and put the cover in there, and you know, throw it. Just a little tip for some. <laughs> Just for somebody. <laughs> what else? Okay. Now for some of you guys, this this masculine is into foreplay. Okay. They could definitely want you to dress up. I'm up on here cosplay. Somebody could be into the cos. Um, anime or enemy, they could be into in, in, into that. Okay, they want you to dress up like a, a um, you know, some of them um, enemy cartoons. They 
or anime cartoons, they, they wear the um the short dresses and the tight shirts or whatever. They could definitely want you to dress up like that and it, it definitely gonna get them really aroused here. But some of you guys just magically wants to dress up like a king. Okay? They wanna dress up like a king, okay? And they want you to please them. They wanna actually sit on the throne. For some of you guys you gotta make some movies, okay? You're gonna make some movies, okay? Like <laughs> You're gonna make some movies. Somebody gonna pull out the video camera, okay? And they want you to. They want to sit on their throne, and they want. They want. They want you to please them. They actually want you to place the crown on their head, okay? And touch them on their chest, all nice and slow. Work your hands down. They want things to be slow, okay? Or right, if this is you, you want things to be slow, okay? You like it nice and slow. Nothing rushed, okay? For some of you guys, this masculine could have been into um, threesomes. They could have definitely been into threesomes, okay? They could definitely like that energy. Um, now, if they are, that, that if or this is you, if you're feminine here and you are into threesomes, they can have it resonate, there's gonna be um, something with double pleasure. You might not be into threesomes, or your person might not be into threesomes anymore, but they could have. And so it's something about double pleasuring. So, you know, while you, you know, deep, deep throating and stroking the dick, they're going to want you to play with the balls, okay? They're gonna want, they, they want double sensation, okay? And for the feminine here, you want double sensation too. So, you know, are they going to already, for some of you guys, your masculine is experienced here. So they already know to give you double pleasure here. They're gonna be licking y'all. Some of these masculines, they like they they like a little butt action, okay? So they're gonna be licking the butt, and they're gonna go right up and lick the yoni, okay? They're gonna suck on the yoni and play with the butt, okay? Some of you guys may need to get you invest in some anal beads, and for some of y'all, the masculines, they're gonna want you to you know suck their balls, and they they need they wanna. Some anal beads, because I'm also getting something with the anal area, with the masculines too. They could like that, you know, they could like a little stuff down there. That ain't for everybody, but that's for somebody. They definitely like the double pleasure here. So when you kissing on their neck, they want you to massage, they the massage they want, okay? They want you to play with it. They want you to take your tongue and make it all slow going all down their chest area. It's something about right before the wand that they find to really get them to make it stand straight up, okay? I mean, like, boing. Like, they love that sensitivity. It's like the area, right? It's not the stomach. It's below the stomach, but right above the, the, um, the wand. They want you to kiss real soft. Or they want you to take your tongue and make squiggle lines. That's gonna get them really aroused. It's gonna stand straight up. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, they definitely wanna dominate you, but not in a bad way. You could be, because I, I feel like they find it so attractive that you are spiritual, or like you could also be like, uh, you could go to church, or you could be religious, but they find the fact that you, um, Believe in our um, praising God, higher power, the divine, they find it so attractive. They find it so attractive, your faith or what you believe in. They they, they want to make you a naughty girl. They like when you, um, they like when that the, the fact, it's not that they're taking away from you being uh, this, this innocent, but you act innocent all the time or you could be shy. They, they want to, when you get in the bedroom, they want you to be naughty. Are they going to be doing some naughty stuff to you because it just turns you on so that you're so, it's that you got two sides to yourself. You're so poised or you're so elegant, so sweet. This person's going to want to, they're going to tear your clothes off. They don't want you to have on no clothes. They want you to be but naked, okay? They want to tear you up, okay? Yeah, again with being filmed, when this particular event happened, for some of y'all, 
you to even wear some angel wings. They might get you some light, because I'm getting like um, lingerie, like Victoria's Secret. So they got to get you some um, angel wings, okay, and a little halo. And they want you to be all nice and sweet and talk to them nice and sweet. And then this person wants to go to pound town on you. Like they really want to really give it to you, okay? And then they want to film it. They want to film it, okay? They want to film it. Are you come on to film it if you're the divine feminine? They also love the fact that you have been celibate. I'm talking to a feminine that's been celibate. You haven't been having sex, or this masculine haven't been having sex, okay? They definitely, that's even more of a reason why. Because they feel like you've been saving yourself. They find that so attractive as well, that you can be so elegant. You can sit with your legs closed. You don't, you're not all over the place. You don't need to have sex. You can preserve that energy. Oh man, they want to tear you up. Like They really find that to be very sexy, okay? This person also want to undress you, okay? I'm getting, a, I'm getting a woman that you can have a little curves here. You can have a little curves, okay? And you can have big breasts, you know, you have little thighs, and you got maybe a little stomach here. For some of you guys, that ain't going to be for everybody, but for somebody here, you got a little curve, okay? They want you to take your clothes. They want to undress you. They want the layers to be peeled off. They're going to peel your panties down. Now, if you wear a gown or dresses, they're going to take that dress off last. They're going to peel your panties off, okay? They're going to come under your dress, unsnap the bra. Or you might not even have on a bra, depending on if you're going to bed or not. Then they're going to take the dress down. I don't know why I'm getting like a silk gown, like a brown strapless silk gown or a blue strapless, uh, um, not strapless, but um, spaghetti strap. Okay, spaghetti strap gown, silk though. This person, it's something about the texture that they really love. It's something about your skin, I'm also hearing, like buttermilk. Okay, they want you to melt in their mouth, okay? If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. They want you to melt in their mouth. Yeah. They also want you to let them have their way with you, okay? They don't want you to resist. They want you to let them have their way. Let me do whatever I want to you, okay? This is for the divine fem this is for the divine feminine. Now, I could be talking to a divine masculine here with this one. You could have a feminine who um, a lot of people find this feminine to be attractive. Or they want to see what this feminine is working with. They want to see what's up under this clothes. You could be a feminine like you like to cover up. You don't show a lot of skin. If that's, um, if that's you, then this, this, um, there's a lot of masculines that wanted to See what she's working with. They want to expose her in some kind of way. They want to see what she got underneath. But if you're a feminine, that you you could dress a little provocative or you could dress a little seductive. Okay? They still want to see what you got. So it's a, it's, a, it's the energy of a lot of people wanting to be with your divine partner. Okay? Your divine feminine. Okay? They could also be wondering so much. You know how they say like um. The church girls are the nerdy girls are the most nastiest. So I feel like that's what everybody's trying to see. But the thing about this divine feminine, she doesn't get nasty like that for everybody. She only gets nasty like that for her divine masculine. So it's a, it could be a lot of people that's envious, okay? This divine feminine is a true throat goat, okay? Okay, if y'all don't know what that throat goat is, that's somebody who know how to swallow the wand, okay? She know how to put her lips around it, and she does these things with her tongue, okay? This is for the divine masculine. Your feminine does these things with her tongue that just drive you crazy. She gonna suck your dick, and you gonna be coming so hard, you gonna fall off the bed, okay? Literally, she done fell off the bed. She gonna, she gonna suck your dick so good, you gonna fall off the bed. Because you're 
going to keep scooting back. And it's something about the tingly sensation that your feminine loves. She wants to take that, okay? She wants to, you know the term, take your soul? She wants to take your soul. Like, she wants to make you so tingly, okay? To where you can't stand it. Like, you know, almost running from her. Like, she wants to... It's not have that control, but it is have that control over you in a little bit, a little bit. But it's not a possessive way, like a bad way. But definitely have that control over you where it's like, you got some power over me, but I got some power over you, you know? I know what to do to make you squirm, to make you wiggle, to make you run, okay? That's the divine feminine. She wants to, for some of y'all... Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, both of you guys have been practicing tricks, okay? Somebody's been doing some tricks. I'm hearing tongue motion. Somebody been practicing some tongue motion, okay? That's for the Divine Feminine and your Masculine been practicing some tongue motion. They want to suck on, I heard they want to suck on that motherfucker. That's what I heard. They want to make you drip. They want to make you squirt. Or if you're not a squirter, they want to make you extra creamy. Then they want to lick it all off. Then they want to lick it all off. It's getting a little dark, so let me turn my lamp on. Hold on, family.
They love that. I'm here miss you like a cow. Now, for some of y'all, this person definitely do. Um, this is coming both ways, divine feminine and divine masculine. Like, you could be dealing with a masculine here. They could even want to something with breast milk, okay? If you, they might want to get you pregnant, okay? They might want to suck on that motherfucker with the baby. I don't know. Or right, something, I don't know if they take breast milk before, or, or maybe it's just nurturing, but they're going to suck on your yoni, though. They're going to make you cream so hard, okay? And with, the, and with this feminine, okay, masculine, they are going to milk you. Okay, they want you to keep coming. Back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. So this feminine is going to keep sucking your dick. Okay? She's going to keep sucking it because she wants you to come back to back for her. A Leo could be significant. Okay? Again with that fire energy. We got a sneaky link. So I feel like somebody wants to sneak. Okay, they want to sneak here. Not like a third party kind of sneak, but somebody wants to sneak and do some shit with you. Like, I don't know, like again with the role playing, I'm getting like two people that meet out in public as if they don't know each other, but then they, they be freaking somewhere, but you guys are like married or in a relationship, okay? It's something about the game. It's something about, you know, um, I feel like somebody is very territorial, okay? So, I don't think it's like a sneak link as like a bad thing, but I feel like somebody wants to definitely sneak, though. Do something sneaky here. It's something about doing things while others are around, like even like out in public, you know, that sneaky kind of energy. Again, especially with you or your masculine being like, um, you know, celibate or being in this very um, healing or combined energy where you guys are definitely, you believe in higher power, the divine. Because um, I don't just want to say spirituality because, you know, different people, different strokes for different folks. You know, some people might be religious. Okay, so, you know, take a higher resume, but they find that so attractive. So, the, uh, them imagining you sneaking or them sneaking around with you, Okay, um, they def that's definitely gonna turn them off. Now, for some of you guys, you could have started out as a sneak link. This could have started out as a little sneak thing, but it grew into an obsession here to the point where this person has to have you. And I guess he did here territorial, so they they know that it can't be that going back and forth. You know, you do you and I do me, and we link up. No, it can't be that because this person don't want nobody to touch you. So they know, I'm here to put it on and make them want to marry me. Okay, put it on and make them want to marry me. Somebody's like, shit, I got to have you, all of you, okay? A Libra could be significant. Okay. What else? Somebody wants you to suck that, they, they want you to suck their balls, okay? They want you to suck it nice and slow. And do like little swirls in the middle, up and down. Okay. Anything else? I thought? Anything else? That was a lot. Okay, we got fuck you back to sleep. So this somebody who like round after round after round, okay? They gonna definitely fuck you back to sleep. Now, somebody could like music in the background. I'm getting Chris Brown, fuck you back to sleep, girl. Okay, somebody definitely is going to have, you know, they're gonna fuck you, and then when you get tired and go to sleep, they gotta bend you over, or they're gonna turn you over, and they're gonna rather eat the box, okay? If you're a feminine, if you're a masculine, this feminine gonna start just sucking your dick, okay, and make you wake back up, and you're gonna wanna fuck again, okay? We got LGBTQ community out here, free vibes, okay? We got riding the dick, riding the dick from the bed, okay? So somebody like a 
reverse cowgirl, okay? Reverse cowgirl. They want you to sit on this motherfucker. I'm hearing sit on the dick, dick, dick. Sit on that dick, dick, dick. Yeah, somebody, somebody wants you to ride that motherfucker from the back, though. Okay, reverse cowgirl. And why are you doing this? They want you to play with the balls, okay? Massage those balls nice and ride them nice and slow. They want you to ride them nice and slow and massage the balls at the same time. We got Waikisha. So, that's that money bag song, okay? Waikisha. I feel like somebody, that they just can't get enough. They can't get enough of what you got. This person can literally be drinking, um, thinking about you. They're in this energy. They got this. They got this built up stamina inside of them. They wanna, they really wanna choke you a little bit while they, while they beat it up, okay? Cause they got this aggression kind of built up, okay? Look, we got Netflix and chill. So this person wanna watch a movie, and then you know you'll never finish the movie, okay? They just wanna turn. They just want to. I don't know. You just really turn this person on. Okay. You might get like 10 minutes in the movie and this person start feeling all up on you. We got uh, watching you. But I heard watching you while you sleep. This person wants to watch you while you sleep. Somebody feels like you're so beautiful. They want to watch you while you sleep. Okay? They definitely want to. They can even want to take pictures of you while you're sleeping. They feel like you're so beautiful. Okay? We got Aries here. Another fire sign. We got my mom. My mom said you're a good pick. So that's the divine masculine. That's the sort of divine feminine here. You could be dealing with a feminine that could have told her mom about you. Her mom feels like you're a good pick for her. All right, this is this masculine that could have told their mom about you. And their mom wants um, your mom. Their mom feels like you're a good pick, okay? You're a lady in the streets, but you're a freak in the bed, and they feel like that's pretty honorable, okay? I did say something about somebody having to keep their cool or their composure. This person could take you over to meet their mom or, or like, a family gathering or something, and then they'd be being naughty and stuff. You know, by their mom walk, step out the room or something, this person will be doing something naughty. Cowgirl fell out. So they like reverse cowgirl, but they also like cowgirl, too. It's something about seeing you on top, okay? They want to see you on top while your titties bounce and while you're looking so pretty, hair flowing, and they just want to, you know, really, really capture that moment, okay? Then I say somebody had veins and they did, okay? A hard dick with veins, okay? Somebody definitely do. We got Gemini. If we got public sex, I told you somebody gonna have a lot of sex out of public. They don't care. I'm hearing the neighbors know my name by Trey Song. They want the neighbors to know their name. They want to hear you scream. They want to hear you shout. And they want to do it out in public so everybody know what y'all doing and who you doing it with, okay? They want to mark their territory, okay? Generational curses, generational curse breakers here. I feel like you guys, both of you guys on both sides had generational curses that you guys were dealing with, okay? And I feel like you guys are breaking them by coming into contact with some of you guys is married, you know? You could be a feminine where, you know, you come from other feminine, you know, family where other feminines, they never got married or they never had, you know, real husbands or something. For some of you guys, you want to be a housewife, okay? And that's something different. None of your other family members are feminine in your family. You got to do that. And for this masculine here, you could come from a different a, a generation of um, men that, you know, uh-uh, a generation of men that, you know, definitely mistreated their women or had multiple women or things like that, okay? You guys are definitely facing generational culture. Look, romantic date. 
I knew that was gonna come out. So for some of you guys, before it's, it, it says romantic day, affection, cute display. Okay, so what I mean by cute display, that's the flower petals and the balloons and the champagne, and that's getting everything all pretty, okay? You know, pictures on the wall, you know, portraits of your divine feminine, having a lingerie laid out. You want something candle everywhere. For some of you guys, they're going to do this at a hotel. They're going to go get, they're going to tell you, wait downstairs. They're going to go upstairs and get, you know, everything all together in a room, and they're going to have you walk in and have you be so surprised, okay? And then, like, um, this could be like a nice dinner date to, like, take you out on. Yeah. Music playing in the background, releasing stress, okay? Your free choice. So your free choice of a date. This masculine, you know if you're going to have a romantic date, if this masculine comes to you and be like, what you want to do? If you be like, what you want to do? You know, where you want to go? You want to go out to eat? You want to go to the movies? That's because they want you to pick because they got something in store afterwards that they pick, okay? Yeah, flowers, okay? They definitely don't want to get on. Yeah, we got, let's do this together. So, you know, they want to plan a life with you together. This isn't just, I know this mostly is about sex, but this isn't just a sexual reading here. This is a divine reading, divine sexual reading. That's why it started out sexual healing, sexual, because this isn't just, you know, having sex, one and done, lustful energy. No, this is, um, you, um, that the, whoever you could have been with or somebody in the past, they want to know, do you care about them more than them? Like that person, do you care about them more than them, okay? And go go with your intuition. But I heard go with my, because I had go with your slash my intuition. So I definitely do feel like somebody's going with their intuition on this, okay? They're taking a leap of faith. They're de definitely jumping off the bandwagon here, trying something new. This could also be sexual-wise. They're trying something new with you, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of the romance. For some of you guys, you are in some type of separation, and you could have been in another relationship, and this person wants to know whether or not you love them. Um, you love that person more than you love, um, yeah, I just see separation. The person that you were with, if you love them more than you love them, okay? You love that person more than you love your person, your divine counterpart, okay? For some of you guys, somebody cheated here. Somebody cheated and they want to know if you love that person that they know if you love that person that they that you cheated with more than you love your, your uh them okay honeymoon it says enjoy the bliss of the holidays together so definitely feel like this is somebody's honeymoon phase or this could be after um uh, after, you guys could be getting married, okay? You guys could be traveling here. You guys could go on a honeymoon and definitely gonna be a wish fulfillment, okay? Something you always wanted to do, traveling to some type of foreign land is what I heard, okay? And I also feel like if it's not the honeymoon phase, then I feel like you guys could be married in the spirit, okay? So when you guys actually get together, it's gonna be like a honeymoon, but um, you might, you guys might elope, and I'm hearing like elopement. Somebody might definitely elope and get married somewhere. We got forgiving and learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So somebody definitely is healing, and I definitely did say something about sexual healing here. Somebody feels like somebody can heal them with their pipe or with their yummy, okay? Their, their healing wand or with their healing yoni box, okay? This person definitely is, or they definitely did go through some trials here. It says this could be the one. It says you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So for some of you guys, 
you've been hoping and praying and wishing that somebody come towards you, that you can be with forever and you can have that wish fulfillment with. But this is, okay, you've already met that person. No matter your differences or no matter what you could have gotten, you know, into some type of separation with, no matter, it's still, um, you got, you met the momentous person that you seek and this is it for you. You guys are definitely going to get married. It says, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, okay? That's working on your marriage, working on, you know, working on togetherness. It says, stay optimistic about your love life. It says, positive thinking and faith will bring, positive thinking and faith will bring romance, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we got trust, okay? So it says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. So you're needing to believe in that little Cupid back there. You need to have trust, and you need to have faith. For some of you guys, the trust was ruined, okay? So it's a situation where you need to rebuild the trust here, okay? I definitely do feel like you guys are going to make it throughout, though. And look at that. With the white and black is giving more marriage here. So this is beautiful. It says true love. It says this this is a romance of a lifetime. Again, with the angel in the background. Beautiful, okay? Everything you want, everything that you've been praying for, okay? I'm hearing it's time for this masculine to speak. So for some of you guys, you've been waiting on your masculine to say something to you. Um, now, you could be a feminine and masculine energy because we did get that LGBTQ free vibes. Um, so, you know, Take it high of a resume, okay? But I definitely do hope that the reading helped you guys. Okay, I hope you enjoy the reading, okay? Don't mind the kids that's in the background, okay? They're not gonna get a snack because they they didn't they didn't stay quiet like I told them to. So but don't mind that. Um if you like the reading, if it <laughs> helped you in any kind of way, definitely hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys and I'll definitely get to the next one. Till next time. <clears throat> Bye. I'm getting that forever, forever, that forever energy, okay? Y'all don't mind the will. She, I don't know what she does. It's, I love the way you are. Yeah, I love the way you are. And again, that goes back to being this, um, I'm hearing Christian faith. For some of you guys, you're a Christian. Okay? For some of you guys, you are just, like I said, it's your personality. You know, what you believe in, what you stand for, your religion, or, you know, just you being um, sanctified. I'm hearing sanctified. So you are definitely, um, you could be spiritual, okay? But whatever it is, they definitely love who you are. They definitely love the fact that you are yourself. And you can be yourself, and you never try to be like anybody else. This could go for divine masculine or divine feminine, okay? Say hi, Rose. We got, do you love him or her more than me? So for some of you guys,